Jerry in Adelaide, Australia writes, Hi, Paul. There are qualities, <laughs> hey, Jerry, there are qualities of audio reproduction that we all agree exist. Sound staging, for instance, uh, things that cannot currently be measured or expressed as a quantifiable attribute. Yeah, exactly. And how are you going to say this has 90% sound staging or this has on a scale of 1 to 10, you know, that kind of thing. There, there's just, there's no way to quantify it or to measure it with equipment, certainly not. Um, but so could you discuss the aspects of music reproduction that you believe are real but lack tools for measurement analysis? And what would be the most useful measurement you would like to be able to take but currently lack the means to do? <laughs> well, we currently have state-of-the-art measurement equipment. We are audio precision. We've got the latest state-of-the-art audio precisions. This doesn't happen to be one. This is a testing AP. And we can't tell a whole lot about how something's going to sound. An AP will tell you, you know, noise, uh, various kinds of distortion, harmonic intermodulation, frequency response, transient response, and all of those things are certainly important. But sound staging? How, how is it going to present a sound stage? How, there is no way that I am aware of that you can measure that. How is it going to isolate various instruments within the sound stage? Are they jammed together? Are they cluttered together? All these things that we hear in various recordings, in various pieces of equipment that change. How do you measure all of that? I don't know. If I had a magic measurement tool, which is what he's asking, it would involve imaging. And I think imaging in, in two areas, one that you've already brought up, depth and sound staging, and another, transparency. Transparency is such an elusive goal. It's so obvious when you hear it. You put on one piece of gear and it sounds like you've opened the blinds, that all of a sudden you can hear into the music. Why is that? Well, we have plenty of speculation and we can tell when we're designing products at PS Audio. We can tell that when we do this, it has greater transparency. Well, this is something we can then write down, like let's say for instance, the level of feedback. So the more we can design a circuit that doesn't require feedback and then put judicious amounts of feedback back in and find the balance there, that has a great deal of impact on the openness and the transparency of the sound. So yes, you could make a device that says, I suspect there's this much feedback, and if you have more, something is changing, maybe we could measure that. I don't know. The easiest way right now is to have learned all of this stuff and listen. There's my measurement tools right there. <laughs> and our young crop of designers that we bring up through PS Audio, they're learning the same things. Darren, Chris, Jordan, those people at PS Audio, we're we're raising them up right. We're going to teach them how to do all that stuff so we can continue making great stuff. <laughs> Thanks for the question. It was a good one. I appreciate it. All right. Bye.